Well, it's been a challenge uh, to balance the different, the competing uh, uh, jobs, but um, I've done a lot of work at night when uh, I've already put the kids to bed. I stay up and uh, I was staying up doing writing, reading, what have you. And I tell you, it ultimately, it, it has to do with your, your family just being understanding uh, when you've got to set time aside. So we made it work, uh, 20, I think it was 26, 27 months total. But uh, it's been a wonderful experience, been a great honor, and uh, just excited to be here today. So what exactly were you learning here or there? Well, it's a master's in strategic studies, and, and ultimately it is about understanding the strategic environment in which we, we live and how to address some of the challenges that we as a country face. But the great thing is, like, like most education, uh, it benefits, uh, it, it, I've already seen the benefits in other parts of my life, in my civilian career, and also, of course, in the military. But we've studied a lot of the classic uh, military strategists, studied certain battles and how things unfolded, what could have been done differently, and talked a lot about the challenges facing our country in terms of the cyber threat and uh, space threat and the rise of, uh, of China and the reemergence of Russia. Uh, cyber threat threats to states running elections. Which That's right. Well, it, it, it in impacts everybody, right? At the personal level, uh, cyber threats are a problem because people's data is sometimes stolen, misused. You have the, the threat to our national security, but you also have the integrity of elections. And uh, it, it everything we do now is connected to the Internet, and so certainly cyber threats are a high priority. Yeah, so I'm a, I'm a 27 Alpha, which is a, a judge advocate, uh, a, a JAG officer, and I've been in uh, approximately 22 years. And so, civilian application. Sure, well, it, on the military side, uh, it is a, a critical part of moving to the next level. Uh, I am I'm hopeful, uh, not certain, but hopeful that I will be... Uh, uh, promoted to the next level, which is Colonel uh, 06. I'm Lieutenant Colonel now. And uh, so this is part of that process. Uh, as you proceed up the ranks, uh, you, need, you need to continue your education. And yeah, I've always believed that education is a lifelong, uh, a lifelong uh, venture, adventure, not a one-time thing. And on the civilian side, I'm already seeing, just in the way I think about problems, uh, it, has, uh, it has helped me fine-tune that process and of course we have the National Guard yeah, at the state yeah. level and uh, it will help me in my interactions with them as well. It, I, I love it. I, I, I'm inspired uh, still today by my grandfather. I never met him but he served in World War I in France in 1918 and this is the hundred year uh, anniversary of that and so means a lot to me and my family, and it's just an honor uh, to be allowed to be here. It's just an honor to be here today. How do, how do, how do, where the yeah. school is physically yeah. located? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a challenge, but it's also, uh, it's been wonderful. And, and the wonderful thing about this course is that we are allowed to come up here, physically be here for certain blocks of time, uh, which helps bridge some of that distance. We've developed deep relationships, particularly with our seminars, and uh, I think those relationships will continue throughout my life. Do you think it's important to get away from the computer and get up here once in a while? It is, although I bring two computers with me and <laughs> an uh, uh, iPad and a phone, so always connected. So, we be here. Well, it's, I, I, I tell you what, it's, it's been here several times, but it's really great to be here with my family. Uh, I was so happy to see them at the airport uh, last night, and they're here, and uh, you know it, it's just exciting. And I have a seven-month-old baby as well, so that's additional juggling. But just so happy our, our family's here. So did they come up a little early, or uh, they got here yesterday, so they'll be here through the weekend.